Ever wondered what happens when rock bands face off against rap bands in a garage? Well, you're about to find out. Let's start with Scott's Garage, a band as colorful as a rainbow and twice as unpredictable. Meet George Cucumber, the cucumber with an attitude and a voice that can shatter glass. Then there's Rick the Ogre, cool as a cucumber and twice as green. His bass lines will shake your bones and rattle your teeth. Next up, we have the King of England, an anonymous son of Henry VIII. He's got a yellow crown, a white wig, and a royal cloak to match. His signature accessory, a spoon with an egg holder and the egg itself, because why not? Uncle Chris, the band's resident uncle, is as unpredictable as a spinning top. Yosemite Sam, on the other hand, is all about the rhythm, his drumsticks moving faster than a roadrunner on a caffeine high. Jem Finch, the night puppet, has a peculiar fondness for KFC and Popeyes. He's got his own style, and he's not afraid to show it. Fred the Lazy Frog Muppet is the band's laid-back mascot, while Sergeant Hartman is the band's tough love manager. Then there's Nacho Libre, the luchador with a love for rock music, and Tom Canty, the angry Southern general who's still stuck in the 1860s. Tenacious D, made up of Jack Black and Kyle Gass, add a touch of Hollywood stardom to the mix, but wait, there's more. We've got Mr. Krabs, Miss Puff, and Bill the Funny Classical Troll adding their unique flavors to the mix. And let's not forget Uncle Ernest the Ogre, bringing some extra muscle to the band. And finally, we've got the rappers. Trumpation O, headlined by none other than Donald Trump himself, and the six kings of great rappers, each with their own unique style and flow. With such a motley crew, you can bet your bottom dollar that hilarity will ensue. But wait, there's more. Let's not forget about our rap counterparts. Now let's meet the other side of this musical divide, the rap bands. First up, we have Trumpation O, led by none other than the iconic real estate mogul turned American rapper Donald Trump. Trump's lyrical prowess is as unpredictable as his tweets, and he's got a swagger that's hard to beat. Then there's the mayor of Sussville, a man who knows how to drop beats and pass legislation at the same time. His rhymes are as smooth as the city streets he governs. Frank, the pot-bellied pig, is next in line. He's got a flow that's as heavy as his appetite, and he's not afraid to gobble up the competition. Next, we have the unmistakable Cleveland Brown, whose rhythmic rhymes and smooth delivery have made him a rap sensation. Following him is Uncle Mike Canty, a man whose raps are as cool as his cucumber demeanor. And don't forget about Cool Cucumber Bill, the rapper who's as fresh and crisp as the vegetable he's named after. Then, we have six the kings of the great rappers. This crew is led by Carl Carlson, a man whose lyrical acumen is only matched by his sharp wit. Richard Griffin, the group's backbone, is known for his punchy rhymes and quick comebacks. William the Troll is next, a rapper whose mischievous lyrics always keep you guessing. Uncle Floyus, the lazy smooth pirate, has a flow that's as steady as the sea. Uncle Fred, the group's charismatic leader, is known for his clever rhymes and infectious energy. And finally, there's deceptive Uncle Robert, a rapper whose cunning wordplay keeps you on your toes. Well, folks, there you have it, the rival bands, each with their unique flavor, style, and character. From rock to rap, from ogres to trolls, from cucumbers to pirates, this is a mix that promises a battle of epic proportions. So hold on to your hats, because this is going to be a musical showdown like no other. Well, it seems we've got ourselves a battle of epic proportions. The stage is set, the bands are ready. Let the music battle commence. In one corner, we have Scott's Garage, a band as eclectic as they come, with a king, an ogre, a knight who's a puppet, and a frog. In the other corner, we have the rap band Trumpation O, led by none other than the former president himself. The air is thick with anticipation, and probably a little fried chicken dust. The battle kicks off with Tenacious D, led by Jack Black and Kyle Gass. They launch into a raucous rock tune, their guitar riffs and drum beats echoing through the air. George Cucumber and Rick the Ogre join in, adding their own unique flair to the performance. Meanwhile, the King of England, in his yellow crown and royal cloak, plays the spoons. Yes, you heard that right, the spoons. He taps out a rhythm on his egg holder, and the crowd goes wild. It's absurd, it's hilarious, it's actually kind of catchy, but the rappers aren't going to be outdone. Trumpation O takes the stage, Donald Trump leading the charge. 
They drop beats and rhymes like they're going out of style. Frank the pot-bellied pig even breaks it down with a belly dance that has the crowd in stitches. It's a spectacle unlike any other. The bands volley back and forth, each trying to outdo the other. The air is filled with laughter as the bands pull out all the stops, incorporating KFC, Popeyes, eggs and bacon into their performances. It's a feast for the senses, a symphony of absurdity and hilarity. The music battle reaches a crescendo as the bands give it their all. The crowd is on their feet, clapping along, laughing, cheering. It's a wild, chaotic, utterly ridiculous spectacle, and it's absolutely perfect. And the winner is, well, we'll have to wait and see. Enter Mr. Beebe, our funny music teacher and judge. This man is known far and wide for his musical knowledge, his impeccable sense of timing, and his knack for cracking the most unexpected jokes. So you can count on him to keep things entertaining. As he approaches the bands, he takes a moment to admire their unique style. He eyes George Cucumber's vegetable-inspired attire, the yellow crown and white wig of the so-called King of England, and the laid-back coolness of Uncle Chris. He chuckles at the sight of Yosemite Sam, Jem Finch, and the rest of Scott's garage. He then turns his attention to the rival band, Trumpation O'Donnell Trump, the American rapper and mayor of Susville, Frank the Pot-Bellied Pig, and the rest of the crew. He can't help but laugh at Uncle Mike Canty's cucumber-themed outfit and the smooth pirate look of Uncle Fred. Mr. Beeb then takes a moment to address the bands, the room bursting with laughter as he cracks joke after joke about their peculiar styles and their hilarious performances. He comments on how the King of England could have used his spoon and egg holder as musical instruments and how Uncle Mike Canty could have added a cucumber solo. But then the moment of truth arrives. It's time to announce the winner. The room falls silent. Mr. Beeb takes a deep breath, looks at the bands and says, the winner is Scott's Garage. The room erupts with cheers and applause. But then Mr. Beebe raises his hand for silence. He pulls out a piece of paper from his pocket and says, but wait, there's a twist. He then proceeds to announce that both bands have won. A lifetime supply of KFC and Popeyes. The room breaks into laughter and applause once more, the perfect end to a hilarious battle of the bands. Just when you thought it was over, the real party begins. Now you might think that a music battle like this one, between the rockers of Scott's Garage and the rappers of Trumpation O, would end with some hard feelings. But no, not here. The music fades, the stage lights dim, and the real magic begins. There's a singular kind of camaraderie that comes from sharing a stage, from putting it all out there, from battling it out in front of Mr. Beebe, the funny music teacher turned judge. No matter who wins or loses, there's a bond formed in the heat of the moment. And that bond? It's like super glue mixed with maple syrup, sticky, sweet, and unbreakable. So what does an after party thrown by rock and rap legends look like? Imagine a mashup of headbanging, freestyle rapping and the most unexpected food fight of all time. It's a kaleidoscope of KFC buckets and Popeye's boxes flying through the air, a shower of crispy chicken and flaky biscuits raining down on everyone. And there, amidst the chaos, you'll find our beloved characters. There's Rick the Cool Ogre, crown askew, engaging in a drumstick duel with none other than Carl Carlson, the king of the rappers. Jack Black and Donald Trump, locked in a fierce debate over who makes the better mashed potatoes, KFC or Popeyes. And let's not forget the King of England himself. His royal cloak, now a makeshift bib, feasting on his spoils of war with his trusty spoon and egg holder. But this isn't just a one-night-only affair. Oh no, this is a lifetime supply of finger-licking goodness for all, unending buckets of KFC and Popeyes, a testament to their unity, their shared love for music, and their mutual appreciation for quality fast food. So, the next time you think a music battle is just about the music, remember this party, remember the laughter, the camaraderie, the chicken. Because it's not just about the notes you play, it's about the friends you make along the way. And that, my friends, is how you throw a music battle party. So what did we learn from this? We've learned that a music battle can be a hilariously absurd spectacle especially when it involves characters as diverse as a cucumber named George, an ogre called Rick, and a would-be monarch who carries a spoon and an egg. We saw a night puppet named Jem Finch showing his love for fried chicken, 
and a lazy frog named Fred showing us all how to take it easy. We saw a rap group with Donald Trump as a member, and a rock band fronted by Jack Black. And who could forget the final showdown with KFC and Popeyes flying through the air, all under the watchful eye of Mr. Beebe, the music teacher turned judge? But most importantly, we saw that even in the midst of competition, unexpected friendships can form. Laughter and good times were shared by all, regardless of their musical preferences. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're rock or rap, as long as you know how to have a good time. Until next time, keep rocking and rapping.